Morning. What are the make or break issues in this election? We know that a lot's been said about the need to diversify the economy, to provide credit lines for entrepreneurs, and even to review land rights in that country. Yes, um, of course, one of the issues that we need to take into account is, um, as we discussed rightly now, the continuation of policy. But of course, Mauritius is just coming um, off the, um, you know, a period of weak growth during a global recession. Mm -hmm. So. In terms of you know strengthening economic growth, that is one of the uh, main issues. But I think even more importantly is that um, the, the the new administration will have to make sure that the benefits of the growth filters through to the to the to the people because there is still some poverty right. um, in Mauritius. So that is one of the other issues. Now, of course, we've seen the the um, the Prime Minister's party, the Labour Party, promising um, that they will uh, you know strengthen the private sector, make sure that they get credit flow. Right. Etc. And on the other hand, we've got Bering and, and this party promising to remove some of the unpopular taxes. But I think those are the, the, the more minor issues. I think um, the real big issues in terms of poverty reduction, um, increasing the welfare and right. you know, support to, to the people. All right. Now, we've got a situation where the finance minister, who's credited for engineering some of the greatest reforms in uh, Mauritius has been taken off the ruling party candidature list and consequently there's been a bit of nervousness in the markets about that decision and we've seen just holistically because of the elections the rupee weakening somewhat. Yeah, of course there is, is some concern um, in terms of the fact that the, um, there may have been some agreement on a one alliance between the Labour Party and the MSM. Um, that they had, the MSM's had, um, uh, will then become the new prime, uh, at least a new finance minister. Now, he has been finance minister before, and some people say that uh, Jacques North does not have that experience uh, and insight. Um, but uh, that aside, um, I do think the, the current um, finance minister, or Sidnan, at least, um, you know, he guided Mauritius through a period of economic boom, mm -hmm. a global boom. So it was much easier, I think, under those circumstances. But I do think that the investors will obviously, depending on who's going to be the next right. finance minister, they will take some time. Um, but I think things will settle down eventually. Just in terms of the outlook for the Mauritian economy, we know that last year it grew 1.5%, this year 4%, and next year expected to be somewhere in the region of 4.7 percent even 5 percent right. but that's all dependent also on a hefty stimulus package in the region of 340 uh, million US dollars being pumped into the economy by the Treasury on its own uh, what can Mauritian business do to weather the storm and really just ride the crest of the growth wave I think Mauritius is very much dependent on global growth yes there's been a lot of uh, local stimulus um, monetary and uh, fiscal policy but um, re the real reality is that the um, that the local export sector will have to start um, looking at maybe a different different markets as well because the additional markets in the advanced economies, uh, Europe and the US, mm -hmm. are struggling quite significantly. So they may have to focus more on emerging markets in terms of uh, a market for their products. Mm -hmm. right. uh, but of course, the the um, uh, facilitation of or the access to 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 domestic credit should also help to strengthen that, and they should also take advantage of the uh, buoyant domestic right. demand. Fundamental challenges facing uh, the new administration. Um, again, in terms of making sure that money flows to the to the to the right people, to, uh, reduce poverty, okay. diversification issues, continuation of right. policy as it is. Thank you very much. Do you have any comments about what's going on in Mauritius? It's always lauded as this beacon of democracy and development and social justice, but there's a lot of poverty, as Rydell was saying, and key issues are property taxes, saving taxes, and land rights, particularly for the poor. Yeah, I, I certainly, you know, this election and this government and whatever might happen with the new government won't, won't hold. You know the you know the business cycle, and I think that's what emerging markets can learn from Mauritius is the fact that your government starts running in such a way that doesn't impede on your business cycle. Much of what Africa is still dealing with, I don't think Mauritius is dealing with today. Okay. Just to them.